It takes a brave filmmaker to take one of the darkest stories from his or her past and make it into a film for the whole world to see. But that's exactly what director So Tiong Hin has done with You Mean the World to Me. The Hokkien language film is a semi autobiographical story based on So's own family history as well as his estranged relationship with his late mother. At the movie preview, it was clear that the subject is still one that really affects So emotionally. <laughs> The reason is actually to honour my mother and also, I guess, um, to apologise. I think the the importance of the importance for me for getting this film made is that is to remind people how important family is and not take for granted, especially the sacrifices of our parents. You Mean the World to Me is about a Penang-born filmmaker named Sunny, played by Frederick Lee, who returns home to make a film about his dysfunctional family. In the process, Sunny confronts and relieves the past, which inadvertently opens old wounds, but in the end, teaches him that true love is about sacrifice. The story was written seven years ago as a film script but found its way as a play during the 2014 Georgetown Festival. The success of the play eventually landed the story into the silver screen. What was fantastic about doing the play is that the play helped clarify things and if you look at it, Perhaps the play was like a rehearsal for the film. The role of Sunny's mother was played by Neo Sui Lin, who happens to be Saul's unimate. Jong Hin has given me a dream role. Um, he's, he's, you know, such a close friend and he's made me closer to him now by just having the honour of playing his mother. The movie that spanned two generations and set in two time periods also features actors from Malaysia and Singapore, including award-winning actress Yeo Yen Yen, Steve Yap, Ivan Chin and Chao Sia Ng. Several new faces also made their film debut in You Mean the World to Me, including Greg Coy as Young Sunny and John Tan as Sunny's elder brother, Boy. Greg was discovered out of more than 100 boys who auditioned for the role. The Penang native joined other cast in the film that was almost entirely spoken in Penang Hokkien. Cast members appreciated the presence of a Penang Hokkien dialect coach on the set to help them with the dialect. At home, we speak Hokkien, and uh, so when when it's when it comes to Penang Hokkien, I really need to relearn. I, my mom, when she heard me rehearsing at home, and she was like, <laughs> "What are you talking about? What nui nui? So funny." <laughs> Okay, mum is Penang Hokkien, so. so the sound is so beautiful. The sound is so nice. I remember when we were, I, I was used to make jokes before when we were doing the play that it was Tiong Hin's revenge on me because when we were in university <laughs> together, every time he spoke Hokkien, we would laugh at him. You can imagine if we are Singaporeans, right? Then his Hokkien is like, why is he singing? <laughs> Filming the movie in Penang Hokkien was very important for Saw because of the whole context of the story and where it takes place. The film's title in Hokkien is Haikin Sinlo, which means Seafront New Road. It is the old name for Victoria Street in Penang's heritage enclave where Saw grew up. The movie's production design team brought back the home where Saw and his family used to live and his memory of 1970s Penang to life on the set and were beautifully presented through the lens of internationally acclaimed cinematographer Christopher Doyle. 
uh, because it's such a, a familiar space to the director, and it's so important to him to 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 to, to convey and uh, to celebrate, you know, this this relationship uh, and and people I moving in their different spaces. So how to convey that is is the challenge as a, as a cinematographer. And of course, the easy way <coughs> would be, and we did it a couple of times, is basically handhold the camera and and go through the space. So you get a very strong sense of the geography of the place. But then, of course, you you know some some scenes don't don't. You know, because they're very emotional, so it's very difficult for the actors to sustain that. So you know, you have to do other things. So, so that was the, how to structure the film, how to how to form the images that, that celebrated the space, and how to you know uh, how to light it in a way that these these people in this space you know uh, connect with you. That's the big challenge and the, and the great privilege of this film. You mean the world to me opens in cinemas nationwide on May fourth. Hello, Hello.